Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to another Soulstorm replay commentary. Today we'll be watching Face to Face Season 8, Round 31. I think this is the first uh, round from this season that I'll have uploaded to my YouTube channel. Um, why we're watching this particular round, this is because we've had um, some requests for Space Marines vs Sisters of Battle. Uh, which is actually quite hard, a hard matchup to find in a tournament setting, uh, simply because Sisters of Battle are so unpopular. Uh, but today we have a best of five played between Splash and Steel Rat. Sis uh, Splash playing with Sisters of Battle and Tau Empire, and Steel Rat playing with Sis uh, Space Marines and Dark Eldar. This face to face tournament is quite different to the others in that the players could um, enter with two races, so they can switch between the races uh, during the best of five. Unfortunately I couldn't find a best of five where um, the sisters player played sisters in all five games, uh, but that's just how it is. Okay, So this best of five was played in February 2014, let's get started. First game played on Tranquility's End. Uh, Splash has been featured uh, a few times on this channel now, uh, so is Steel Rats. Mm, not, as, not as many games from Steel Rat as Splash, but we have a few. A good Space Marine player, and we know that Splash is a good sisters, well one of the few active sisters players at the time, so one of the best by default, but he is pretty good. Okay, Splash opens with two servitors, two missionaries, barracks generator, uh, barracks armory and generator. So we'll either have um, Seraphims or Cannoness with Inferno Pistol. On this map, Tranquility's End, I expect Seraphims. Well, we'll see. First missionary goes for this outer point, that's interesting. Second missionary goes for this point in the base. Okay, it is an interesting cap order. Pretty non-standard, I'd say. Okay, so we have Seraphims and Splash deleted the generator for some reason. Okay, Steel Rats opens with five squads of scouts, reinforces the first three and sends them straight into Splash's base. It will be very painful for Splash if he manages to decap this point. He'll be playing with no um, strategic points for now. Yeah, it looks like he'll manage to decap this one. And down it goes. At your command. Scouts so yeah, so we have four squads command. of scouts, um, fully reinforced scouts in um, Splash's base. Yes. Steel Rat added the sixth squad, so the fifth and sixth squad command. will capture scouts the points. It starts with the inner points. Of course, uh, with this opening, no need for the barracks. Uh, Steel Rat adds the uh, start of the generator. Hey, add the snipers later. Scouts here. Scouts awaiting orders. Yeah, terrible start for Splash. He lost both of his missionaries. He's forced to use his uh, Seraphims to capture the point, but he changes his mind. We'll probably go to hunt for some Servitors instead. Maybe try to decap some of Sister's points. Looks like the Battle Sisters may not even bother fighting the Scouts. This squad is idling. Okay, Splash adds the Flamers. This squad of Seraphims is hunting this uh, Scout squad, which was used, being used as a capper. At least it goes down. Of course, the Scouts can't fight these Battle Sisters now. But it's important that uh, Splash doesn't idle. I have no idea what Sisters should do in this situation. Well, I think uh, Steel Rat probably just countered this um, build order perfectly. Maybe double Seraphims with the deleted armory, and then Overwatch them could have been good. But this build order didn't become popular until later on. We know our place. Yeah, Splash adds the missionary, which can now capture the inner points, but the problem now is that he doesn't have any servitors. 
so you can't build the listening posts. Here to serve. Yes, sir. Steel rats, servitor still up. May go down now. Let's see. Yes, most and we still have five squads of scouts Scouting. from uh, Scout Steel Rat. The fifth squad being used as a cutter still. What is your will? Yeah, that's Your right. Uh, Steel Rat adds Scouts snipers. They're very effective against sisters. We know our place. Look at the difference in economy. Only plus 26 for Splash versus Steel Rat 62. We'll get better once this listening post is finished. At your command. Yes, my lord. This flash will lose this missionary. Yeah, <laughs> one volley of snipers, one volley of shots, take it down. I await your instructions. These scouts would be able to fight the um, battle sisters now as well, I think. Let's see. We're almost at the end of the game now, so. The final engagement will happen soon. The scouts here not being controlled. Or maybe they are. Yeah. So half of the squad of battle sisters down in, a, in a, just a couple of seconds, one volley of shots. And then the battle sisters are pretty much useless once they lose the morale. We also have this squad of scouts being used in melee to tie up the battle sisters, prevent them shooting. Yeah, and Splash gives up. Yeah, unlucky. Bad choice of build orders, but it's um, there is a lot of luck involved in this. If Splash had opened without a generator and gone for Battle Sisters uh, straight away, this pushed, this would have failed. The Battle Sisters would have been able to fight off the Scouts. Scouts awaiting orders. Scouts in position. Okay, well I guess they've just played a lot together before. Steel Rat probably expected Seraphims. Okay, let's move on to the second game. This time Splash goes for Tal and chooses the Battle Marshes. A good map for Tal, especially if you go for best bids in Tal Commander. A huge piece of um, impassable terrain. The, the uh, Tal Commander and the best bids can jump over. Best of it can focus on destroying generators and listening posts whilst the Tau Commander hunts for the servitors and the scouts. It really looks like we won't have this opening, um, and that is because Splash opens with three stealth teams, stealth seeks, which means he either won't be able to afford the best bit or the Tau Commander, so he will have to give one up. Yeah, he goes for the Tau Commander, so the best bits. Well, he won't open with the best bits, he may make them later. Here we have a squad of scouts from Steel Rat again. Two squads, they went on harass. Okay, Splash decides to delete his generator and add a squad of uh, fire warriors as well. Nice decap here with the scouts. At your command. We have a stealth suit here waiting to decap this point. Yeah, against this, I think maybe three uh, stealth suits was a good idea. At least he can still capture some points. Tower commander's out, the stealth suits need to retreat now. Only one member on this squad. A good micro from Steel Rat. Doesn't lose track of the scouts. At least this point was captured in listening post place, so this point won't be decapped. Not for some time at least. Yeah, misclick with the stealth suit. I'm sure it was queued to decap this point as well, but the listening post was already placed. Won't be able to decap this one either. Might be able to decap this one and try to deny uh, Space Room from taking this point for some time longer. But we'll see. Scouts fighting the Fire Warriors here in melee. This is just a buy time, of course, so the Fire Warriors win this fight. And the listening poster here was already placed, so the Scouts couldn't decap them. Decap the point. 
pace. Flash now controls this point in the back of the base as well, and this is a dead scout. Yes, um, Steel Rat doesn't even bother reinforcing it. <laughs> it's funny, this we have stealth suit and some scouts racing to capture the relic. And Splash is taking the relic on the opposite side, good job. And now it goes for the generator. Has enough requisition to place this listening post as well. It's not looking so good for Steel Rat now. His economy is not very good, only plus uh, 56. Well, both economies are the same. But, um, Splash has a nice reserve on requisition. And still has all three of his cappers. Uh, Steel Rat's about to lose his. Um, this is the third squad of Scout Marines, which he's going to lose, leaving him with only one in this squad's idling. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperium. Splash now adds the Vespids. Okay, the stealth suit had to jump away from the relic because the scouts are in here with a skull probe. The stealth suit will have to jump as well. And now the Tau Commander and the Fire Warriors go to push on this side. Steel Rat places the generator, changed his mind, he deleted it and goes with the armory instead. And we have a nice push on this side. This point will be decapped. We have the second Fire Warrior team on the way. So, a reinforced squad of Fire Warriors and the Tau Commander can easily deal with the uh, Space Marine squads. The Vespids um, should deal with listening posts whilst the Stealth Suit decaps them. We have an idling builder here, needs to build this listening post. Second squad of Fire Warriors is now out. We have two Stealth Suits in here. Third one's taking the crit. Might even be worth deleting one of these stealth suits and going for the third fire warrior squad. We'll see. Looks like Steel Rat will lose the barracks. Which means he won't be able to make any more space marine squads. He has three at the moment. Still quite powerful. He'll have to re um, fully reinforce all of them though. We have a nice trade here as well. Steel Rat goes for Tower's Barracks, so they'll trade Barracks. Okay, I understand now. Steel Rat wanted the Armory so he could make the Assault Marines. Yeah, the Assault Marines don't cost power to uh, produce, so no need for a generator. But of course, the um, Barracks was destroyed, so no Assault Marines can be made, which means this was a waste. And now the Armory will go down without uh, making any... Um, research upgrades, so it was a complete waste of resources. Well, at least uh, it'll destroy Towers Barracks as well. Nice, uh, Splash has managed to take this point from Tower's side, from Space Marine's side, sorry. And Splash wants to destroy the Armory before any uh, research is made. Of course, he doesn't know that um, Steel Rat doesn't have any generators. The economy is much better for Splash as well. Plus 86 will be better once this point is finished. This listening post is finished, I mean. Under fire. Versus Space Marines 56. Cut them down. While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no peace. Best bit to jump in to tie up a squad of um, Space Marines. The Tau Commander can also be used to tie up a squad. We stand ready. At your command. Splash could do with rebuilding the barracks. Could build it here. Or in this position. Splash also needs to remake the generator, he's floating. Yeah, he places two generators in this position under the LP2, and goes for another stealth suit. This is the fourth one. Tau Commander not being controlled here, who survives on 7 HP. Yeah, he managed to save the stealth suit as well. The Force Commander could have chased the Tau Commander here and finished him off. Oh, okay, Steel Rat managed to take this point from this side. We have an idling stealth suit here. 
And the tactical marines keep pushing the fire warriors. Good. Tower commander not being controlled. Not very good usage of the Vespids to be honest. The Vespids could have easily destroyed this listening post and this one, and the stealth suits could have jumped in here and decapped them. He seems to have completely forgotten about the Vespids. Okay, the Tower Barracks is being remade at the relic position. I'm not sure I like this. I don't think this is a good spot for it. It's really easy for the. He could produce Fire Warriors here and they just get trapped. Um, there's only one way in and out of this position. I think he'd have been better off building it um, closer to his headquarters. Okay, good usage of the stealth suits here, uh, being used in melee to disrupt the, fire, the space marines. And I guess Steel right here didn't want to fight under the LPT, so he stops pushing at this position. Splash now goes for the Tower Commander. No signs of tier 2 yet, he uses his power to upgrade the listing posts to keep his economy up. We have three LPTs for Splash. Splash is also going for the second relic. Good. Okay, so Steel Rat remade the armory, placed two generators, and goes for the armor upgrade for the marines, and also adds the flamethrowers. He needs to, he really needs to make a skull probe. Should have made it as soon as, as soon as the last one died. Really, make a skull probe, attach the space marine squads, and then the spy, this um, stealth suit team is no longer a threat. Steel Rat remakes the chopper barracks, wants to make more marines, I imagine. Splash and going for the third generator. Once this is finished, he should go tier 2. Splash also uh, created a squad of recruits. I think I just missed it, but I'm pretty sure the stealth suit team was just killed here. Yeah, he managed to lose the best bits as well, I missed that. Not sure when the Vespids were lost. Maybe killed by the Force Commander. Yeah, crew not helping too much here, I don't think. I also think uh, Splash would have been better off focusing the Force Commander. Just finish it off and then free up the squad of Fire Warriors. The problem, of course, though, is uh, Steel Rat's economy plus 86. It's just not enough to keep this uh, this Overwatch going on all three squads of Space Marines. Really need a better economy uh, for this kind of playstyle. Splash needs to save the Tower Commander. Just jump it away. This crew squad is probably going to die as well. Wouldn't even be worth retreating with this squad. Looks like we have two squads of fire warriors running from one squad of space marines as well, which is interesting. And really good economy for Splash now, plus 122. And unfortunately, we have a sink error. Well, I think it's clear who the victor is. Uh, Tau has double the economy. We have snare traps here, which will catch the space marines that are chasing the fire warriors. Uh, once they get trapped, the fire warriors will just stop and shoot them. Splash is losing economy here as well. He already lost one generator. The best bit will destroy this generator in this listening post. Uh, yeah, okay, this is a problem. Steel Rat really could have gone for some LP2s. Basically, like what um, Splash did. These LP2s are what saved him, kept, uh, kept his economy high. Point us at our targets. But, yeah, it was quite a painful game for Steel Rat, losing the armory without 
making any upgrades from it. I think this is 175 requisition to 50 power. A huge investment in early tier 1 and it didn't pay up at all. Didn't make a single upgrade, didn't get a single squad of uh, assault marines out. Very painful. But a nice game. Uh, let me check the results. But yeah, this was a splash victory. Good for him, so the score's 1-1. One, one. Let's move on to the third game. Played on Shrine of Exelion. In this matchup, I'm not sure if Tau has many chances here. It's a really good map for tactical marine maps. Okay, it looks like we might have a uh, assault marine build order. Opening with the chapel barracks and the armory. Yeah, I think this is, this is assault marines with only two scouts as well. Scouts reporting for duty. Okay, from splash, we have two stealth suit teams, two builders, jetpacks, and tower barracks, as well as a generator. And this time he goes for the Fire Warrior team first, okay. Oh my mistake, there are three Stealth Suit teams. The Stealth Suit team wants to decap this point. Okay, good. You usually open with a Fire Warrior uh, team like this if you expect Scout Harass. But I don't think we'll see that this game. Splash only opened with two squads. And there's five points to capture. Okay, Splash added the third squad, okay good. And we have the assault marines on the way. A nice decap here with the stealth suit. No, I, think, I don't think it's worth staying here with the scout marine shooting at the stealth suit, there's no way you're going to kill it. Would have been better off just going to capture this point. Okay, and um, Splash adds the Vespids. It doesn't have any LP2 yet. Uh, L listening posts yet, that's a problem. Assault Marines will decap this point. Well, at least this listening post was placed before the Scout Marines arrive. But Splash is probably going to lose this back point as well. Okay, the Scouts decide to fight the Fire Warriors instead. Splash needs to be careful with these, they stand no chance against the Assault Marines. We have a nice decap here as well, the Stealth Suit. Good. Under fire. Nice for us with the Vespids, going for the listening post to the back of the base. Okay, and Steel Rat goes for the second squad of Assault Marines. Scouts in position. Yes, we also have the Stealth Suit here, ready to decap the point. Good. We are the Emperor's chosen. Fire Warriors slowly going down, two members on very low HP, the third member below half. It's probably going to be a dead squad. Dead from above. Steel Rat tries to re uh, sorry, Splash tries to reinforce it. Yeah, I'll get out in time, good. I think the Assault Marines really could have been used in range stance to finish these two members off. May have been able to kill the squad before this uh, member came out. Nice sink kill here between the Assault Marine and the Fire Warrior. Well, I think this, uh, this squad will go down, only one member left. Okay, nice job. Splash placed the listening post on this point, not, um, so this denies Steel Rat from taking it back. And we also have an LP2 here. Second LP2 on the way. This Fire Warrior is still alive, barely. Wants to run under the LP2, isn't being reinforced for some reason, I don't know why. Splash has 200 float and requisition, so can, no reason not to reinforce this squad. We had a decap here with the uh, scouts as well. Best bids uh, constantly being hunted by the assault marines. Splash now goes for a squad of tactical, uh, tactical space marines. Um, but he needs to make the uh, squad cap upgrade. That or delete a squad of scouts. Or let, just let this one be killed. Okay, so now the space marines are out. Splash could. Um, Steel Rat, sorry, should also go for a generator. Place it here. 
and then start going for some LP2s. The generator in this position will be protected by these two points if they're upgraded. I have no idea where these uh, servitors are going, I think that was just a misclick. Scouts awaiting orders. Stealth suit not being controlled at here either, was detected by the school probe and finished off by the assault marines. Another, another stealth suit gets killed here by the assault marines as well. So out of the three stealth suits only one remains. Well in fact I think a steel rat opened with only two stealth suits. So he must have made the third at one point. Second squad of fire warriors now out. Well this replaces the first squad that was killed by the assault marines. So I guess technically this is a second squad. And also the Tau Commander was added. But we'll spend all this time running for the, from the Assault Marines. Should stop the Fire Warriors here, retreat the Tau Commander, try to get the Assault Marines to fight under the LPT. Second squad of Fire Warriors just chilling here. I'm actually quite impressed, Splash's economy is better, plus 86 and 20. Uh, versus Steel Rats 74 to 0. That's because Slash opened with a generator and went for LP2s. Only now, on the sixth minute, uh, Steel Rat goes for a uh, generator. Yeah, wasted a jump here with the Assault Marines. A blind jump, he had no idea what was here. Two squads of assault marines chasing the fire warriors, not sure that's necessary. I think one of these squads could have been better used hunting for, say, the builders, or helping to destroy this listening post. This fire warrior team will go down, wasn't controlled for a moment, stood still. Yeah, good usage here. Splits the assault marines up. This assault marine squad will type this squad of fire warriors, while the second should go for this squad. Okay, nice. The plasma pistol has uh, attached the force commander. The force commander can quite comfortably fight the um, tower commander in range now. Well, he can fight with a bolt pistol, but it just makes it better, doesn't it? Has much better chances. The plasma pistol and can finish off the tower commander more quickly. Yes, my lord. At your command. So this point finally goes down, and here are the scouts, scouts coming to decap the point. And we also have the armor upgrade now for the space marines. Oh, well, it's for the assault marines and the space marine squads. Scouts awaiting orders. Do we only have one squad of scouts from Steel Rats? Scouts he must have lost two. Well, he has uh, one cap, one um, slot left on the squad cap. He could have made another scout squad just to take this uh, relic in the critical location. And never not mind. We have a victory here for Steel Rats. Nice usage of the assault marines worked really nicely in this game. Okay, we also had the optics on the way. Nice game. So the score is now in Steel Rat's favour, is winning 2 1. Right, let's move on to the fourth game. Okay, Splash decides to go back to Sisters of Battle. So Space Marines versus Sisters on Meeting of Minds. Okay, we won't have Seraphims this time. He only places the barracks and goes for the missionary before the servitor. Um, yes, yeah, so this is not a uh, seraphim build. A humble missionary, here to serve. Could be a fast cannoness or a battle sisters uh, mass. Let's see. I Steel rat opens with four yes, squads of scouts and barracks. Only one servitor for now. Scouts reporting for duty. Yeah, it looks like he'll use all of the scouts to yes, capture the points. Yeah, it makes sense. They're uh, 
Yeah, five strategic points per player, one relic per player, and one critical location per player. And then one point in the middle to fight over. Lots of points to be captured, so four scouts. Uh, good choice. And we have a squad of space marines on the way. Splash opens with only two missionaries, so we'll have a slow map control. At least he uses the Battle Sisters to capture one of the points. Then goes for the Cannon S, we also have a generator for sisters. At your command. Scouts in position. We know our place. I serve. Yeah, I think if you're gonna if you're not gonna go for Seraphims, I think a generator opening is needed versus Space Marines. You need to get some um, economy advantage to stand a chance. And to get the economy advantage, you need the generator so you can get the LP2s. Uh, this is because Raw Battle Sisters stand no chance against the Raw Space Marines. So you need more resources so you can keep reinforcing them. We have the first LP2 on the way, and the fast LP2. For some reason these Battle Sisters changed direction. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, okay, maybe you wanted to defend the relic. Doesn't want uh, this point to get decapped. Yeah, and we have another fast LP2 on this position. Cannon S chasing the tactical marines. So Steel Rack uh, commits to the decap here. Two scouts down. Three scouts will lose the fourth. This decap isn't worth it. Yeah, bad decision here from Steel Rat. So you lost five scouts for the yeah, for one decap. Not worth it at all. At least Steel Rat controls all of his points. Also goes for an LP2. Places two generators. So I guess this will be a, a passive tech style from Steel Rat this time. I won't play aggressive in tier 1 like in the previous games. We already have the second generator on the way from Splash. And the third LP2, this point in the back. Scout's trying to kill the, ser um, the Servitor. They're close, but they get tied up by the Missionary. This squad of uh, scouts can try finish off the servitor here. I think it was a mistake shooting at the missionary. And we have the second battle sister squad from Splash now. So Splash controls all of his strategic points now, only the relic left to be captured. This battle sister squad gets reinforced so we can fight back the space marines. Basically, we force the squad to deter the Space Marine squad from uh, decapping the relic. So, a bad move from uh, Steel Rat here. Looks like he really wanted to decap the relic here, and it cost them, what, four Space Marines? Five Space Marines. So, that's 250 requisition lost here, achieved absolutely nothing with the squad of Space Marines. Steel Rat's on the way to tier 2, 20% already. And adds the force commander. And we have the third LP2 on the way. No signs of tier 2 yet from um, a splash. He could delete this generator and go tier 2. Or he can just wait, he can afford it now. Yeah, here it goes. So behind in tech, but ahead in economy, at least in terms of requisition. We have more generators from Steel Rats, so obviously a higher income on power. Goes for more LP2s. Only one point left to be upgraded. Yes, my lord. So we have the fifth LP2 on the way for Splash on the relic position. He'll probably upgrade this one in the back of his base as well. And Splash is also going for two critical locations, his own and the central points. And has his servitors ready, ready to build this thermoplasma generator when he hits tier 2. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, he goes for the back point as well, so all of his points have been upgraded. He goes for the first toe of the icon now as well. 
This site plays a turret here to better defend the thermoplasma generator. Might even uh, manage to kill some servitors if Space Marine heads here to build the thermoplasma generator. Okay, so Steel Rat hits tier 2. All of his points are uh, upgraded to LP2 as well. And goes straight to tier 2.5, goes for the Machine Cult, and now places the Armory. Doesn't bother upgrading the Space Marine squads. Didn't even reinforce this one. So I doubt he'll go for Space Marine upgrades. So I'm expecting Tempests. You require the Armory to make the Tempest, so... Oh no you don't, that was a lie. You require the Armory to upgrade the Tempest, not to produce them. So I, I think we'll have a Tempest mass with crack, uh, crack missiles. Okay, interesting, he goes for a Hellfire Dreadnought. Not sure why he needs the Armory then. Praise the Emperor. Yes, my lord. This day shall be a glorious one for the Imperial. Okay, Splash hits tier 2 as well. Goes for uh, Celestians. Six minutes until taking hold victory. And goes for the Manufactorium. And almost uh, has the Fermo Plasma Generator. I have awoken. Okay, I guess he wanted the armory for the sniper upgrade. Uh, I mean, the scout upgrade, the infiltration. Back to war. Scouts awaiting orders. At your command. Yes, my lord. At your command. Yeah, and he adds plasma to the scout here. marines and upgrades the space marine squad with missiles. I These two servitors are also going to build this point. I mean, build this slag deposit, the thermal plasma generator. But of course, Splash sees that. Celestian's been upgraded with anti vehicle weapons. And we also have a Rhino transport here as well. Five minutes until taken hold victory. Okay, the Celestian's focus in the Hellfire. Nice. Battle Sisters could try and kill this uh, tactical range squad. Splash now also goes for the armory, goes for the Inferno Pistol, Heavy Weapons and the Blessed Armor, and adds the Heavy Bolters, the Battle Sister Squads, and goes for some Lightning Fighters, as well as the Global on Power. Wow, look at this economy. So Steel Rat already has the Global on Power, and he has the Fermo Plasma Generator. He also made the uh, heavy weapons upgrade so he can add more heavy weapons to the uh, space marines. He adds heavy bolters. He could also reinforce the scouts and um, equip them with plasma guns. So we have two Hellfire Dreadnoughts here. Steel Rat going for more vehicle cap upgrades. Okay, good. Goes for the third Hellfire. And the third squad of tactical marines. Splash now going for the confessor. And just place the holy rec uh, reliquary. Nice, we killed two squads of scouts here. The third barely escaped. And down this firm and plasma generator goes. This is the right thing to do. If your army's not powerful enough to fight the opponents, just go and harass. Three minutes Splash has the armor upgrade now as well. This affects both the Celestians and the Battle Sisters. We also have the stun ability being upgraded for the um, Confessor. Confessor's idling though. We also have the cracks and the phosphor grenades being added. Looks like Splash wants to make an engagement here, let's see. Nice catch of the Space Marines out of the uh, heavy cover. A nice cast of this blind ability from the Cannon S reduces the accuracy of these Space Marine squads. And the 
Celestians are trying to go in to destroy the Hellfire Dreadnoughts here, but I don't think they'll be successful. Way too many uh, Dreadnoughts here. Nice catch of the Force Commander here. Okay, um, Splash really wants to kill the uh, heavy Volta Marines, I guess. The Celestians failed, didn't manage to kill a single Dreadnought. Nice cast of this uh, Chaplain ability as well. Will the Rhino survive? Yeah, Rhino survives, just on 130 HP. And both squads of Celestians survive, nice. Well, the Rhino will be caught here now. Tactical Marines here being puffed by the Dreadnoughts so they couldn't fire. Not enough faith to cast the uh, Smites from the Confessor. Needs 40 faith. Okay, he casts it now. Nice damage uh, dealt on the Tactical Marines and disrupts them. And it looks like the Hellfire Dreadnoughts are finally going down. One down, the second one's below half HP. We also have tier 3 up for Sisters. No signs of tier 3 from Space Marines, he's also floating. He's met the uh, vehicle cap. So with this flow of requisitions he should have made more Tactical Marine squads. It would have been great if he had you know, 5 or 6 Hellfires here, supported by 4. Tactical Marine squads, I think even a tier 3 uh, Sisters of Battle Army would struggle to deal with that. Yeah, the Dreadnoughts are slowly going down one at a time, only three left. Marine squad deployed. I await your nice usage of the Lightning Fighters here as well, you hunting for the Servitors. And Steel Rat's now going to tier 3. It's quite a bit behind. Splash is already tier 3. Adds the Exorcist tanks. Could go tier 4. And we have 3 squads of Celestians going on harass. Uh, yeah, these Battle Sisters will probably go down. But crazy damage being dealt here. 2 LP2s down. And now. Uh, Steel Rat will lose all of his generators, might even lose the barracks. Confessor stun ability cast on the Space Marine squad, stuns them in place, doesn't allow them to shoot. The Space Marine 2 squad's tactical marines here have been hacked by the Hellfire Dreadnought, so they couldn't shoot. I don't know, do we have the tier 3 optics? I'm not, I don't know if Splash made it. Yeah, all the Dreadnoughts going down now, only two left. This one's almost down. Oh, three left, sorry. But these two are very low HP. And look at Space Marine's economy, only plus 39 on power, can't keep up with this uh, overwatch of Dreadnoughts. Then we have a sink error, with only around 30 seconds left to go, that's unfortunate. Can't be helped though. I think this is clearly a sister's victory, if you compare the differences in economy. Uh, if you consider the differences in economy. Um, so Splash is playing at 154 to 106 versus Steel Rats 126 to 39. So Steel Rats losing this fight, I losing his army, and his is behind on economy, also behind on tech. Uh, Splash is almost tier 4. Once this is up, he can go for the um, Living Saints, he can also go for the uh, vehicles. Um, I forget what they're called, the Sisters of Battle Walkers. A very strong uh, tier 4 vehicles. 
Okay, an interesting game. Uh, quite a passive one. There was a little bit of aggression from Space Marines in the early game, uh, which really didn't pay up at all. He lost an entire squad of scouts, uh, ended up losing five members in total to decap the relic, and then lost a further five Space Marines um, for nothing. So a bad game for Space Marines in Tier 1. And I think that's him behind for the rest of the game, really. Okay. And, and then, of course, we had the um, large float in tier 2. It's not a very good show from Space Marines this time, but a good play from um, Splash. So the score evens up again, 2-2. Two, two. Let's move on to the final game. Played on Outer Reaches. This time Splash goes for Tau. It's uh, a good, good map for both races. But very hard to stop Space Marines here. Probably even harder for sisters than Tau. Maybe that's why Splash uh, picked this race. But you s here, Space Marines can just mass tactical Marines, march down the middle lane, go straight into your base. Hard to stop. So, Steel Rat opening with three uh, Scout Marines, two Servitors, and Barracks. May I add the fourth squad? We'll see. Scouts reporting for duty. And he goes for a ta squad of tactical marines. Okay, opens without a generator. That's typical of space marines. Okay, splash opening with uh, only two stealth suits and tower commander with jetpacks. Opens with the generator, of course. Okay, this will be tower commander and Vespid's build order. Wants to build this listening post first. Idling with the stealth suit wasn't queued to capture the next point. Okay, Splash actually got quite lucky here. The problem with this build order, the best bits in the Tower Commander build order, is it uses up all of your resources, which delays the um, first listening post. So there was every chance the old rat could get in here and decap this point. So just luck there. Um, that Steel Rat decided not to harass with the scouts this time. Okay, we have the Force Commander on the way, already at 70%. First vid should go for the listening posts. Tower Commander here, trying to finish off the squad of scouts. Should jump over here. If he still has jump available. Nice usage of the scouts here, managed to decap this point. Good job. Under fire. This scout is looking for another point to decap. Okay, the Vespids are being used to hunt for the Servitors, also a good, use, good way to use them. Thankfully this listening post was fi finished. Uh, Steel Rat should now place this one. Yeah, and the scout squad was finally finished off by the Tau Commander, good job. Space Marines trying to destroy this listening post. If you, if you didn't know, the Space Marines actually deal more damage in melee against this armor type of the listening posts. A building low, I believe, uh, is the armor type of listening posts. Scouts here not being controlled. It's decal. Will the squad survive? Defending objective. Scouts ready. So two scouts lost for a decap. Uh, so I think that's sort of about fair. Scouts it would have been bad if the scout marine squad was killed. Scouts ready. Steel Rat needs to delete this listening post. Yeah, which he does. Good. Awaiting orders. Yes. And Steel Rat goes for the armory now. Plays with only squads once. Oh, he, okay. He went for two squads of tactical marines before the armory. So he's playing using the same build order as on Battle Marshes, but it's already going better for him. He will only use the barracks this time. Scout should get in here and decap this relic. Yeah, so this listening post was destroyed, but Splash uh, Steel Rat didn't decap it. Could have just decapped this with the Space Marine squad. The target 
scout marines could go down here, they're going to run into the fire warriors. Yeah, and down they go. Okay, space marine has hit tier 1.5 and goes for the assault marines. Decaps this point with the space marine squad. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Some pathing caused by the best fits, this is intentional. He who stands with me oh no, maybe not. Steelright isn't even trying to retreat with his force commander. Losing a lot of HP here for nothing. Splash uh, makes an LP2. This point was upgraded. Needs to replace this listening post. He's placed it, but the builder isn't going to build it for some reason. And he wants to upgrade this point on the relic. Yeah, it looks like he also lost one of his stealth suits. I only see one. This one capturing this point, which is idling. Salt Marines chasing the squad of Fire Warriors. He needs to be careful though, fighting um, with the Tau Commander around on the LP2. And they get stuck in the snare trap now. Some, this squad might die. Yeah, down the squad goes. Flamethrowers added to the Space Marines just like in the first game. Steel Rat also goes for two generators in order to the armor. He who stands with me shall be my brother. Force Commander chasing the Tau Commander. Strange place for a snare trap here. While the enemies of the Why would the Force Commander or the Space Marines go here? Peace. Doesn't make much sense to me. And Splash loses a squad of Fire Warriors. I'll probably lose the second. Still this stealth suit is idling. Well, doesn't matter. I think this is a game over. Tau Commander went down as well, finished off by the Force Commander. Now the Force Commander's going for this LP2. Yes, that's it. Splash loses his entire army. We're just waiting for him to quit now. Remakes the Vespids. And we'll now lose the barracks. No chance he can escape this position with the builder, so there's no way he can finish off this listening post. He still uses this stealth suit to decap points, which is quite funny. Yeah, he managed to decap this one. The squad of submarines was remade, and uh, we have plasma pistol great for the force commander. Uh, for some reason, Steel Rat looks like he wanted to chase the Vespids instead of just finishing off this Tau Barracks. He would have been able to destroy this barracks before the crew got out, but, you know, whatever. Vespids being used to fight the assault marines, not a good usage of them. Obviously, the assault marines uh, win this fight. Uh, however, they do lose to the crew. Okay, so uh, Splash says that this was a bad game. Yeah, not a very good show from Tau, but it is very difficult to stop Space Marines on this map. A nice uh, show of how to use Space Marines in this matchup. Uh, the only big mistake I saw was the bad usage of the first squad of Assault Marines. Uh, that was a big fail when he jumped in here to tie up some Fire Warriors under a uh, Tau Commander in LP2. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really don't do that unless you want to give your opponent a, an advantage. The but anyway, uh, that's the end of this uh, best of five. Steel Rat wins with a score of 3-2. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!